Early on in my self-growth and entrepreneurial career, I was reading this success story about a woman who had built a six-figure business in six months. And she wrote this article and then an ebook she sold called Six Figures in Six Months. Now, here I am jumping into my new business, my new self-growth journey. A piece of it was becoming an entrepreneur. So I'm thinking, you know, I definitely will outwork everyone. I'll be smarter than everyone. I'll be more strategic than everyone. I'll read all the books and I'm just going to be six months and six figures. I'm going to be chilling, man. Like I'll be working on my self-growth. I'll have the financial freedom to quit my job and I can just travel and life will be good. Unfortunately, despite doing all the things, it didn't work out like that for me. And in fact, it was very disappointing. So I thought I would take this video to talk a little bit about why you feel so disappointed in your self-growth and in your life journey. What's up, you guys? Alex Hine. Welcome back to this video. Now, before we jump in, check out the free goal-setting worksheet below this video. That link below is for a free PDF on how to design the best year ever of your life and how to figure out what daily habits and actions will actually make that happen for you. All right, check it out right below this video, the first link. So let's talk about this idea of the 10-year vision versus the one-year vision. Because Tony Robbins has this great quote that we overestimate what we can do in a year, but we underestimate what we can do in 10. And I hate it so much, but it is so damn true in my experience. Because there is nothing that really truly guarantees, no matter how hard you work, no matter how smart you work, no matter your connections, how much money, how much time, that your goals will happen. And people don't like when I say that because we all want to believe that if we just work harder than everyone, that everything will just come true. And a lot of it will, but there is no guarantee like that. You know, I found that this idea of the 1,000 day rule, there's a great article online. If you look it up, Tropical MBA, the 1,000 day rule, what living a dream really looks like. And it talks about specifically from an entrepreneurial perspective, because business building takes so many years, what it really looks like at the beginning versus when you quote succeed. And these authors talk about, you know, the first year you think you're going to make six figures in six months, but you make $2,000 and you can't get anyone to watch your videos or to listen to your podcast. You suck on camera. You suck on audio. People leave you snarky comments that call you, you know, some incel on the internet. <laughs> and then you want to quit because everything sucks. You're not getting good feedback. You're not liking it. You're not good at it. You're not getting paid. Year two is more of the same, but this time, maybe you've somehow figured out a few things that work and a few things that can improve your life. You know, for me, I went through my first 365 days. I made $2,000 all year. Second year, another 365 days. I'm like, all right, I'm going to do six months and six figures again. And then what happens? Year two goes by. I made like 25 grand. All right. So I'm thinking I just worked my ass off. Full-time job coming home three hours a night just to make 25 grand, right? It's good. It's like, it's close to a very low poverty level in the developed nation income, but it's not enough to quit. So then I keep going, I keep going, I keep going. You know, for me, it took me literally three years and three months just to quit my job, just to replace my low day job income. I'm not talking about 60, 70,000 US dollars. I'm talking about like 30 to 40,000 US, three years in three months. And honestly, when I quit my job, instead of feeling so excited and so pumped, I felt so underwhelmed. I felt so disappointed that it took me so long to do that. And this is something we have to talk about because everything was honestly fine. But I had been reading these success stories, the case studies, the YouTubers who had zero to a hundred thousand followers in a year. And for a lot of us, that just ain't how it's going to go but you can still succeed and still have the life you want just in a longer term window. You know, one of the first people I was looking at was this woman named Marie Forleo. So Marie Forleo has build a business and life you love brand for female entrepreneurs. And I was so envious of how really simple her business was. She just puts out one video a week. It's high quality. That's it for her content strategy. And then she does one large business launch a year and makes millions of dollars. Like that's pretty damn good if you ask me in terms of a simple business. So I got to thinking like, well, how long has she been doing this? You know, she's only been here for like five, six years and she's doing that well. But then I went to a website where you could look up when somebody bought their website. What I found was that I was looking at her website in about 2014, right? 
I went to this website to look up when she bought her name.com, MarieForleo.com. It said 1999. So here I was thinking that she had built this in a few years, but I had found her website 15 years after she had created it. 15 years was when she got on my radar. So who knows how many years and years of iterations of trial and error of all these things she had tried that didn't work out. And here I am crying that it took three years to go full-time into my job. She said she went into her job seven to 10 years after building her business. So here is someone who's a, a worldwide icon that I admire. And I'm crying even though I did what she did in a half to one third the time. I mean, my mind was blown that that's really what it took. And she says often in her videos that a lot of the really successful people you admire, the overnight successes are very often 10 year success cases. And that's very, very important to know. It shouldn't discourage you. It shouldn't make you hate the process, but just to understand that guess what? Everything's probably fine where you are right now. Everything is probably going great, but because your timeline is set to, if I'm not a worldwide success in a year, I should go kill myself, which is ridiculous because that is the window you've given yourself of opportunity. It looks like nothing is working. But this growth is often nonlinear, is often exponential. Now, Skillshare currently has an awesome deal going on through September. The first 1,000 of my subscribers to click the link in the description will get a one-month free trial of Skillshare so you guys can start exploring your creativity today. Now, for example, one of the courses that I actually joined was called DSLR Filmmaking for Beginners. And that really helped me understand more about how to produce more professional YouTube videos, the lighting, the aperture, the lens, and so on. So don't forget to check out the link right below this video for that special for you guys. Skillshare is a company I actually love and I actually use, so check it out. So I thought this was a really important video to share you guys. Because I see a lot of people quitting or giving up when their side project doesn't pop in six months. And honestly, there is no easy way entrepreneurially to know if you're on the right track or not. Because sometimes it doesn't pop for six months, but in three years it does. Sometimes it doesn't pop in six months and it never does. There's not an easy way to suss that out. The point is, sometimes what will happen in 10 years, you're expecting to happen in one year. And everything may be fine. You might be right on track. And I don't know if this message helps you or not, but you may be right on track for all your dreams to happen. You just need a little bit more time. And you're looking at that one in a million outlier success and not all the other thousands of successful businesses in the in-between that didn't have crazy success early on, but were slow and steady over time. So don't give up on whatever the dream is, whether it's immaterial like self-growth or it's material like building a business, whatever it is. Don't give up on it and just give yourself more time. All right, guys, that is my PSA for today. Check out the free journaling worksheet below on how to have the best year every hour of your life. It's going to help you figure out what rituals and habits and thoughts to have that will make this year the best year ever. All right, check that out. Download it below. And otherwise, I have two other related videos that can help you right there.